Is Solo Sokoa the new tribal chief of the bloodline? On this week's episode of SmackDown, Paul Heyman revealed to Nick Aldis that he has not spoken to Roman Reigns since WrestleMania. He also said it was his decision, not Reigns, to remove him from the WWE draft, because of all the chaos currently swirling around the bloodline. Solo Sokoa and Tama Tonga completely dismantled Kevin Owens and Randy Orton at Backlash, after Tonga's brother, Tanga Loa, formerly known as Camacho, returned to the WWE after nearly 10 years. After the match Sokoa, Tonga, Loa, and a less-than-enthusiastic Paul Heyman stood in the center of the ring. Thus, it is unclear if Roman Reigns is even part of the bloodline at all at this point. Being that he is still not scheduled to return to the WWE until around August, there is no telling what the bloodline may look like by then. What is clear is that an eventual showdown between Reigns and Sokoa is likely when he does return. He may also have to deal with the final boss as well. The Rock is currently facing some backlash after recently firing his publicist, after reports of him being repeatedly late in the filming of the movie, The Red One, which is set to be released in November of this year. Seemingly, filming began in October of 2022, and wrapped up in February of 2023. Reportedly, Johnson was upwards of seven to eight hours late, missing several days of filming, and causing the budget to increase by $50 million. It has also been speculated that his recent extended return to the WWE has been due to a decline in his Hollywood career, with Black Adam being described as a box office bomb, and Young Rock being cancelled after just three seasons. Thus, it seems Hollywood Johnson might have returned to being The Rock once again.